This is a robot dog. What do you see on top of that robot dog? Not just a gun, this is a machine gun. Now, imagine this thing coming after you in your home, in the wilderness. They even have drones that would uh, hunt God's people in the wilderness. This is reality. I have a few troubling situations that I want to bring to your notice today. But before we do this, I want to plead with you, please try to subscribe to our channel. Do your best to subscribe and also click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video, at least you'll be notified. At least I know that for what is worth, we do our best to get you some of the best content you can find anywhere on the kind of topic that we cover. So try to subscribe and encourage us a little bit, okay? All right, so most of you who have followed me, I'm not sure that there's anybody who has followed me up to this point who does not understand what time we live in. I'm not sure there's anybody who is acquainted with my channel, who is connected to my channel on YouTube, who doesn't know that we live in the end times. I don't think there's any such person. I have already told you this. And I've told you, especially after the restarting of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, that our world is going to change for good. I told you a lot of demons are going to be pumped into our world. And when they come in, a lot of things are going to be turned upside down. And that's exactly what is happening now. The only surprising thing is that I did not think it would happen in such quick successions as they are happening right now, I'm almost too overwhelmed to even keep track of what is going on. Now, we're going to look at something that many have heard on the mainstream media a lot of times. It's about climate change. You hear this whole baloney about climate change, and it makes you wonder, what in the world are these guys talking about? You're saying that there are too many people on earth. You're saying that the activities of man is hurting the planet. If it's hurting the planet, what part of the planet is feeling hurt? What part of the planet is complaining? What part of the planet is overpopulated? They say there are too many people on earth that we need to reduce the population because the earth is complaining. But I ask a simple question, very elementary. What size of this earth is inhabited and what size or portion of earth is uninhabited? Do you know how big and large our world is? In case you don't know, let me give you, let me paint you a scenario. You get on an airplane and you fly, say, two, three, four hours minimum. Can you imagine the vastness of the land and space you fly through that has gotten no single sign of human beings in them. All those places that are uninhabited, who is there? Do you know even within your own country when you fly, can you imagine how much land is standing there with trees and plants and animals without a single human being for hours in your own country? Forget about the rest of the world. So where is the overpopulation they're talking about? Is it overpopulation in cities that you're telling me the world is overpopulated? You cram everybody in the city. Because of your United Nations machinations, you created policies that moved all the populations of different nations to concentrate them in certain cities so that you can create the image that, oh, there is overpopulation, which is phantom. But the rest of the world is crying for more people. Take the population of 8 billion, multiply it by 1 million, the earth will swallow it and still be begging for more. Quote me anytime, any day. Then how can you tell me 
that our world is overpopulated? How can you bring this whole nonsense about climate change to me if it's not that the devil created that stuff so that he can over he can depopulate our world and usher in his new world order and then debase all of humanity and then strip man of all his humanity and all of his spirituality as I'm about to show you right now and the things that these guys are doing. They're already suggesting that we need to go and start eating insects and bugs, things that are meant to be consumed by animals they want you and I to start eating because they don't know or many of you don't know that what you eat is what you are you become what you eat God was not stupid when he made man and put him in the garden because our main diet is supposed to be herb based that's why God put man in the garden of Eden we were supposed to be eating herbs we're supposed to be eating vegetables so we can grab necessary life-giving energy from them. But they came and washed it away and replaced all these natural organic things that God gave us with artificial things. Where there is orange, they gave you the flavor of orange and say, drink it. It's better than the natural orange. Where there is banana, they say, oh, take the flavor of banana that is made in the laboratory. It's better than the actual banana that God made. Where, where there is strawberry, they say, leave the strawberry. Take the strawberry flavor. So for everything that God has made, they made a counterfeit of it. Because they know that if you continue to eat the counterfeit, you will become spiritually blind and dead. Your food is who you are. What you eat is what you become. If you doubt me, follow me to the book of Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible says that Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile on the line the word defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Defile himself. Because food defileth a man. You can eat a certain food that will go straight to your pineal gland, your gateway to the supernatural, your gateway to the realms of the spiritual, and blind it. This is what they've done to so many people today. They dampen your spirit, make you become like a dead man walking because of the food they have compelled you to eat. Whereas some other people who are on certain diets are as spiritually potent and active as ever. And then the others who are eating certain artificial stuff are finished. Isn't that why I made a video one time and I told you people to stop taking fluoride toothpaste. Start using non-fluoride toothpaste. Yeah, I made a video about this some years ago. The things they compel you to eat is what is defiling. Daniel said, no, I'm not going to eat that. Because there were people who understood visions and dreams. The kind of ministry the guys had. Daniel was a man who was operating in the realms of the spirit. Who was operating in the prophetic. In visions, in dreams. So these meals could have messed him up. And dumbed him down. And stripped him of his spirituality. So he said, I'm not going to eat it. I will stick to my spiritual diet, my dietary provisions by God from heaven. When Christ went to fast, what was he doing? Dietary provisions. There's always something that you need to eat to stay the way you are. People are dying in America today because of the kind of junk they eat. My 600 pound life. You see the programs? You see how people... They become like monsters. Like you see someone is as big as this, my desk. How did they get there? Because of the food. Do you think that person is going to pray? No. There are things you eat. Whenever it's time for prayer, you must snore. Even if you finish from that prayer after snoring, they wake you up from that place you're kneeling down. You can watch a movie for another three hours. But if they say pray again, you snore. Because these things you eat militate against spirituality. You must be careful. That's why most people become spiritual only when they fast. When they are not fasting, spirituality flies out the window. 
What are you eating? Now, let's get to the topic of today. So, look at your screen. Let me read you what is on the screen. U.S. Public Broadcasting promotes American diet of insects to support Biden administration's climate change initiatives. The eating of insects! So, let's read the rest of the article. It says, the larger climate change objective is to transition the global food supply away from cows, pigs, and chickens, and then toward a more sustainable lifestyle of eating insects and bugs. It's a transition. You're transitioning from eating your goat and your chicken and your beef to eating something more sustainable. A sustainable lifestyle, all in the name of climate change. So let's find out what a sustainable lifestyle is. Sustainable lifestyle of eating insects and bugs. In the U.S., Joe Biden has pledged his entire administration's effort toward the goal of reducing U.S. carbon emissions. So they believe that by raising cows and chickens and goats and pigs, you are emitting a lot of carbon that is causing climate change. Climate change is satanic. Goal of reducing U.S. carbon emissions and protecting the planet. He wants to protect the planet. Part of that initiative includes the need to change the diet of Americans away from traditional farm proteins and towards sustainable alternatives via bugs and or insects like cockroaches, crickets, and grasshoppers is what your body wants to use to replace your beef and your goat and your chicken and your pork. Cockroaches, the kind you see on the screen right now, cockroaches are no people, too many who if they find a cockroach in an area, they will not step a foot in that place again. Something that even if you're eating and you see it, you will lose your appetite. They now want you to eat. They want you to eat it. And they say this all in the name of saving the planet. The world has gone mad. Our world has gone mad. There's no time the devil shows up on the stage. The madness does not take center stage. And that's what is happening right now. I mean, they just introduced the bar worship booth to you the other time. So you can, everything that has to do with madness will be launched. I told you, the opening of the portals of hell by restarting the Large Hadron Collider, the introduction of the bull, and all kinds of stuff. You are living in a different world right now. This is all going to help. Cockroaches is what will give you more protein than the chicken and the egg and the stuff that you're doing. That's Joe Biden. Your Joe Biden. That's what his administration. You will see more as we go further. A comprehensive marketing, branding, and image campaign is on the way to change the public perception toward an acceptance of sustainable algae and bugs as food sources. I am not sure you heard what I just read. Go to Google now. Look up algae, A-L-G-A-E, on Google Images. They want you to eat algae and bugs. And they say there is a massive branding and image campaign that is on the way to change public perception toward these things because they know that human beings naturally detest these things. They know that public opinion is way against these ones. These things have nothing to do with our diet, has nothing to do with our kitchen, let alone our mouth and stomachs. So they want to use campaign as they've always done with their mainstream media sources to make you bend your opinion, to make you change your mind. And have they started already? I am going to show you something right now. Look at Lupita Nyong'o, a popular African-born Hollywood star, our own daughter was on air eating 
Can you see what she's doing? She's eating insects. The same insects that you see crawling around your sugar and you get insecticides and spray on them to die. That's what Lupita Nyong'o is eating in front of everybody to see. That's the campaign they talk about. These guys know what they're doing. That's the campaign. They want you to eat bugs. They are already talking about it on mainstream media. They want you to eat bugs. What to feed our ever-expanding world? Insects. They could feed the world. Healthy. They're full of polyunsaturated fat, protein, and micronutrients. And sustainable. I'm Nicole Kidman, and I am going to eat a four-course meal of bugs. I'm Nicole Kidman, and I'm going to eat a four-course meal on bugs. They are pulling out all the Hollywood stars, and if you check on the internet, you will find many more. All of them are coming out. They're using their agents, their slaves in Hollywood to promote. Joe Biden just told you that a comprehensive marketing, branding, and image campaign is on the way to change the public perception toward accepting a sustainable algae and box as food sources. And the campaign is already happening. Lupita Nyong'o, Nicole Kidman, you're going to see many more doing it. And when you see the stars doing it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, if Nicole could eat box, who the hell am I? I'm going to eat that too. And then you quickly go and eat the box. Why are you eating box? Are box meant for you? Is the maggot meant for you? Are these things the things that God said you should eat? Who is it that eat these things originally? They are animals! So what you eat is what you become. They are animals. The people want to reduce us to animals and then finally take us to something lower than animals. Let's finish what we're reading.